Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is an exceptional episode in which we will follow this lesson, precipitating platinum, iridium, gold, and palladium. Stay connected and subscribe to our channel. The process involves stripping values from aqua regia solution, boiling it down to remove nitric acid, diluting it with water, precipitating platinum using ammonium chloride, and separating it from iridium. The precipitation process requires a good grade of ammonium, chloride, and heat. The resulting precipitate varies in color, indicating the presence of platinum group ions. The provided text appears to be a detailed procedure for separating platinum and iridium from a solution containing various contaminants. It involves several steps including precipitation, filtration, washing, and chemical treatments using substances like ammonium chloride and aqua regia. This method aims to obtain nearly pure platinum and iridium separately. The aqua regia solution and water used to wash the iridium. The aqua regia boiling processes can be started. Platinum and iridium can then be deposited together then separated using lead. Gold can be deposited as a brown powder using sulfur dioxide gas. After removing the silver, platinum, iridium, and gold, palladium can be recovered using sodium or potassium chlorate. Palladium is deposited as a brilliant red powder, then cleaned and dried. The original solution is checked by Demig and tin chloride tests. After lead and precipitation, you may get a weak platinum index. It is unusual to achieve 100% clearance of platinum values. If you think the original solution has values that can be memorized, you can pour it into the container. Unless that's the case, set it aside, now. You should have several filter papers containing different precipitates such as platinum chloride, palladium chloride, metallic gold, and iridium chloride. Metallic gold powder can be melted simply by using a little borax and some nitrate from time to time while melting. Mineral chloride deposits can be heated to volatilize chlorine. This must be done carefully as platinum chloride, iridium chloride, and palladium chloride are heated in the same way. And the heating result is platinum integrity, iridium integrity, and palladium integrity. If you like the video and want a detailed explanation, all you have to do is click on the description box and you will find the Facebook link. Thanks for watching.